Sup guys, it's Alex here, and today I have my 2017 NBA playoffs predictions. As always, like I did with my March Madness brackets, I did a bracket on Bracketify. The link will be in the description so you guys can vote and make your voices heard. I this I think this is going to be a really good playoffs. Jeff Van Gundy said that the playoffs are already over, that the Golden State Warriors are going to win. But I don't think it's that simple. I think it's going to come down to matchups. And I guess I'll go ahead and go ahead and give my predictions on it. I'll be doing the winner and however many games I think the series is going to last. So in the first round in the West, we had the one seed Warriors versus the eight seed Blazers. Damian Lillard says the Blazers are going to win in six games. However, I think the Warriors are going to win in five. So I'm going to go with the Golden State Warriors there. The Clippers and Jazz, I think this has the potential to be the best first round matchup. I know the Jazz are a very underrated team. The Clippers are doing really good. They have Blake Griffin, Chris Paul, DeAndre Jordan, Jamal Crawford, everybody like that. I think the Jazz have had an amazing regular season to make it up to the five seed. I think next year is going to be their year to make a huge run. They might even make it up to like a three seed in the Western Conference, but I think this year the Clippers are going to win in six games. Then the three seed Houston Rockets versus the six seed Oklahoma City Thunder. This one has a lot of story behind it. They have the three seed Rockets with James Harden versus the six seed Thunder with Russell Westbrook. Westbrook set the record for triple, do triple doubles in a season. I think it was 42 he ended up with. And those two are the leading candidates in the MVP race. Most people think that Westbrook's going to win, but Harden's trying to make a case because his team is a three seed. And because... Uh, the MVP voting doesn't come out till after the season ends. If the Rockets make it pretty far into the NBA playoffs and maybe even win the championship, James Harden's going to have a very good case for winning the MVP. But I think it's going to be the Rockets winning in six games here as well. Then the San Antonio Spurs and the Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizzlies have always been like a six, six or a seven seed, something like that. Man, I think the San Antonio Spurs are going to win and move on there. So in the Eastern Conference, we have the one seed Boston Celtics versus the eight seed Chicago Bulls. Though the Chicago Bulls have Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade, I think the Celtics are a more complete team with more depth. I think the Celtics are going to win in five games there. The Wizards and Hawks, this is another potential sleeper pick to have the best series in the first round. And I think the Wizards are going to walk out of there with the W. And I think I, I think this is going to go seven games, honestly. So I'm going to go with the Wizards there. And this is going to be my only upset pick in the Eastern Conference and in the playoffs so far in general. I think the Milwaukee Bucks are going to beat the Toronto Raptors in seven games as well. Then the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Indiana Pacers. I'm a big Celtics and Pacers fan. Celtics are number one, Pacers are number two. But I'm going to have to go with the Cavaliers here moving on. They're just a more complete team. LeBron has led his team to, I think, six straight NBA Finals. It might be five. I think it's six, though. So then we have... In the Western Conference semifinals, the one seed Warriors versus the eight seed Clippers. I'm going to have to go with the Warriors and five here. Then the Rockets and Spurs. I think that the Rockets are going to upset the Spurs here and move on to the Western Conference finals. I think this game is going to go six games deep. And then in the Eastern Conference semifinals, we have the one seed Boston Celtics versus the four seed Washington Wizards. This is developing into one of the premier rivalries in the NBA. I would have never thought that, but... They've been having some bad blood recently, and I think that the Celtics are going to walk out of here. They're going to scrap their way to a victory in six games. So far, I haven't had a sweep, but here is going to be my sweep. The two C Cleveland Cavaliers are going to sweep the Milwaukee Bucks to move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Then, for a trip into the NBA Finals, we have the one seed Golden State Warriors versus the three seed Houston Rockets. I think that the Warriors are going to be able to make it out of here. Alive. They have a more complete team, and they have a team that has more capabilities than the Rockets. I know they got James Harden, Clint Compella, uh, Eric Gordon coming off the bench. I think he's like leading the race for the sixth man of the year voting. But I think the Warriors are going to make it out of here, make it to their third straight NBA Finals appearance. And then in the Eastern Conference, it's going to be the one seed Boston Celtics versus the two seed Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavaliers have the tiebreaker in the se season series. I think they won it like two to one or maybe three zero. And I think I'm going to go. I have to go with the Cleveland Cavaliers here. I really want to go with the Boston Celtics. They have a lot. I think they have a lot more depth than the Cavaliers do. But besides Isaiah Thomas, they don't have that guy that can just t immediately take over the game. Cavaliers have two guys that can do that. They have Kyrie and LeBron. So I'm going to have to go with the Cavaliers winning here. As much as it hates, pains me to say it, I think the Cavaliers are going to win. And I think it's going to go seven games. And then in the NBA championship, the NBA finals for the third year in a row, the Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. These two teams are just the super teams of the NBA. I think I'm going to have to go with the Warriors winning here. I know the game, 
Warriors won two years ago. Then last season, they were up 3-1. And then it became a huge meme that they were able to blow that lead, and the Cleveland Cavaliers came back. One game seven at Golden State. But I think it's going to be a different story this year with the addition of Kevin Durant to the Warriors. And Kevin Love for the Cleveland Cavaliers is starting to fall off. And Tristan Thompson has an injury right now. I don't know if he'll be back by the time the playoffs roll around. But I think the Warriors are going to win here. And I'm going to, I'm going to make it go six games. The Warriors win in six games. So there you have it, guys. I have the Golden State Warriors winning it all. I know a lot of people will. A lot of people might call me a bandwagon picker. But I think that they're the... They were the best team in the NBA this season. They went 67-15. and 15. Nobody else really came close, and so I think they're going to win. But if you guys want to make your voices heard, go to that link in the description and let me know what you guys think about my predictions, what you guys think about your predictions. Let me know about this whole NBA season in general, who you think is going to win the MVP race, and I shall see you guys later. Thank you for watching.